Alright, final battle, folks. Let's see what we got here. Let's see. Come on.
Okay, come on. This last level was no joke. It took me everything I had. Hope I can beat it though. It's fun, but it's frustrating because they can. This when you think you got everything set up, they can kill one person and it'll be all over.
Okay. It's a weird strategy, but that's all I could come up with. <laughs>
Jesus. Gotcha. Them the brakes, folks. I think I won the game. Elwood. Elwood. Lord Elwood. I'm here. I'm right here. Well done, brave successor to Roland. It's finally over. Finally, everything is... Lord Athos! Ha! Looks like I've exhausted my strength. I, I'll die before you, friend. I may well follow you soon. For now, I will sleep again. Elwood, Hector Lynn. I've lived a long, long time, but now I'm done. Do not grieve soon. I will be with long absent friends. I have no regrets. Lord Athos. Now, my friends, my family, let me give you a part parting gift. As I lay dying, I see many things. I see the future. Oh, why is this not now? Neither Brahman nor I will be here to help a land in need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burns. All of ill they will be once again a wash in blood. But do not fear. Once again, Lysia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. Lord Athos, even at the end, he thought of us. Greybeard. Look, both of you, Lord Athos, it's almost as though he's smiling. This, this world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But at the end, a saving light shall rise. Minion, Lord Elwood. Good to see you, Ninian. Lord Ella, I worried you. Um, I... I wish to apologize. What? What do you mean? I was the cause of... For all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. Union. Here on LB, we were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Even after humans invaded and drove us out, not a day passed that I did not think of it. I, I yearned to see it once again, our homeland. Those children, the fire dragons, they, they were like me. We knew that it was forbidden, and yet we answered Nurgle's call and opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long just to see home one last time. But Nurgle captured us and it led up to this. We humans, we took control of the continent like it was our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. 
Ninian, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Elwood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together and think about the future. If that, if the entire con continent were made a, a place where dragons and humans could live together, like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke, spoke of, Arcadia, what a wonderful world that you would be. But that's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So we, we can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, other dragons will certainly pass through. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must re regain our power and seal the gate from that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be. Lord Elwood, I am truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please, please, don't forget me. Ninian, come Mills, let us go. We must return to our world. Lord Elwood, Lord Hector, Lady Lynn, thank you. My opinion of humans has changed since me meeting many all of you there are humans in the world we're re returning to to finding a way to live together may be hard but we're going to try okay good good luck I'll miss you take care both of you Thank you. Be, be well, everyone. Oh, daybreak. Be beautiful, isn't it? The start of another day. Let's go home to Lysia. One year later, let's see. Did anybody get married or have kids or anything? So here you are, Emery. Will you attend my ascension ceremony? Hector and everyone else is coming. What? These clothes? I look silly, don't I? For formal dress is so stiff, I can't stand it. Ah, uh, everything's finally resolved. I'll succeed my father as Marquis Ferre. Equal to the task, but I'm going to do my best for all the people who live here. Emery, you... Do you really have to go? No, I understand. I'm sorry. I'm sure that you have things you must do. Thank you for your for supporting me and everything. Yeah, no problem, dude. I'm glad I supported you. You're a good friend, dude. <laughs> we make a good team. Me, the tactician, and you, the strong warrior. Till next time, dude. 
I wouldn't, I would this world wouldn't be here. You have my heartfelt gratitude, Emery. I'll see you again. It's a promise, my friend. <laughs> so that's it. Finally beat this game. I had to keep starting over for obvious reasons, but uh, here we go. I guess maybe maybe I can just sit here and see what's going to happen at the end. If there's any hidden credits. Shabito, H. Kato, K. Nama, T. Jefferson, North America, Jeff Miller, Leslie Swan, Rich Antow, Tim O'Leary, Yashua Lamaji, Sean Egan, <laughs> Mike Fukuna. turns I had to go through. Marcus returned to Ferre with Ellawood and as the head of the Knights of Ferre dedicated his life to training young squires. Rowan replaced Marcus as the most famed knight in a all foray, his endless zeal served foray well throughout his life. Rebecca returned to her father, then pledged service to House Foray. She has formed a family, and yet she still serves foray well. Dorka returned to Foray and used the money he earned to buy medicine for Natalie, his wife. She recovers rapidly. Bar Barté continued his quest from country to country. Rumors say that he fell in love with his own mortal enemy. Wounded at wounded at Victoria, victory or death but remained until the end Matthew continued his service as a spy for House Ostia the memory of his beloved Layla lingers on in his heart Sarah returned to Ostia she spent much time tending to her own affairs but lately she has begun to enjoy her free time after learning uh, ad abdicated rule of Kayla Florina returned to Ilya she remained shy but the shyness has made her strong with him after Khaled was placed under Austin rule, Kent became its steward. His dedication earned him the love of his people. When Ostia took over the rule of Kellen, Sane resigned and became an independent knight. His love of women is unchanged. Will remained a knight of Kaleen even after Ostia took over. He became the commander of Ostia's Kaleen Archers Division. 
died died at Cog of Destiny. After these dragon skin bid farewell to the land of their birth, they returned to their new world, meeting Elwood, warmed the hearts of the, these ice dragons with the hope that man and dragon could live in peace. As Knight of Imperial Guard, as, as Adora served as guard to Lady Eleanor, she continued to study to be a lady up until she wed. Hawkeye returned to Nabata and lived peacefully in Arcadia with his daughter, whom he trains to be guardian of the desert. When Athos died, Pent took over his research. Athos to focus on his studies. Pent resigned as mage general of Estria. This action set the place in an uproar. But Pent and Louis in endured. Died at light. Athos died in a foreign land. Those who saw his face said that he seemed as though he had at last found true peace. Marilynus opened a shop in Ostia, but it was forced to close. He plans on reopening with some aid from Lord Elwood himself. Lynn entrusted Kaelin's rule to Ostia and returned to the plains of her birth. She often thinks fondly on the people of Kaelin. Hector returned to Ostia and became her Marquess. His bond of friendship with Ella will remain eternally strong. Elwood succeeded his father as the Marquess of Ferre. His sense and sincerity and his clear guidance made him his father's equal in all eyes. The tactician vanished after the final battle burned. Lycia and Antrea all sought those famed skills, but none ever found the tactician. Thanks for, co for coming, Elwood. Hector, long time no see. First time since my brother's funeral. Fifteen years now. And look at us. We've both grown older, haven't we? Uh-huh. Time certainly does speed right by. My father's dis disappearance. His death, the fight with Nurgle, those fire dragons, the memories are so vivid, it, it might have happened yesterday. Nurgle, what a black heart he was. I've had enough of battles like that. Hmm, is that your son over there? Son? I've been wanting to introduce you, but there's been no chance. Roy, come come here. Did you did you need something, Father? Say hello to Marquez Ostia. Yeah, yes, sir. A pleasure to meet you, Lord Hector. My name is Roy. Roy, is it nice to meet you, lad? Well, well, I guess that means I should introduce my daughter, then. Lena. Well, what are you being being shy? Don't, don't have to be nervous. This is your father's old friend and his son. 
Hello, Linia. This is Roy. He's the same age as you. Nice to meet you. Lelina, let's be friends. We can we can play over there. It's okay, go on. Ah. What a cute child. Good thing she she took after her her mother. What? She looks just like me. Doesn't she? <laughs> you're you're a you're a sarcastic one, Marquez Ostia. Come on now, you're you're the one putting on airs, <laughs> Marquez Ferre. <laughs> the only thing older about you is your appearance. Don't don't tell me you still behave like that even now that. You're the Marquez. I'm always on top of my duties as Marquez. But when I'm around you, I want to relax, so please, Hector. By the way, I heard that the King of Bern died. It was fairly sudden, too. I can't be certain, but according to one of our spies, he was killed in an assassination attempt on Prince Zephyr. The Prince, I, I trust he was unarmed. I guess it's setting up for the next game right here. You know, it's getting really interesting. It's a strange tale. At first I heard that the Prince was killed. Then new information came. Three days later, saying that it was the king who had died. Do you remember Arkasaj Atho's predi prediction? Is something happening in Bern? I don't know. Father, can I show Roy my pony? Yes, go ahead. Be careful. Okay. For the sake of our children's futures, I'll stop anything that may happen. I'll I'll sacrifice my life to make it so. Once again, Messia brings hope. If that turns out to be wrong, no, it must happen. For what reason have you awakened a demon dragon? Who are you? His name is Enigmatic Man. Uh, wow. But I wonder who did he marry? The Gavis kid, though, the main character. I wonder. That's that's my that's my biggest question. Well, anyway, uh. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was this has been a great playthrough. I uh, finally finished the game after so long, but you know here we are. Uh, anyway, I just want to say thank you guys and remember to live every day in victory. And of course, give me the victory music, victory fanfare. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, and we are out.